star drive and perpetual motion. A charge capacitor changes weight when its orientation differs. The mass stays the same. A capacitor is a stack of metal foil plates individually isolated by plastic or paper sheets. The even plates are connected to one lead, the odd plates to another. Finally, they are rolled into a cylinder shape. The atoms of magnetic material, like steel, are aligned in, in a fixed pattern. By charging, we change neutrons into protons and vice versa. Since protons interact differently than neutrons when exposed to gravitons, the mass of the capacitor depends on its orientation. By changing this orientation on the bottom and top of a gravity wheel, you can create the perpetual motion. Another way is looking for isotopes with special properties. A crystal pattern with protons, neutrons or gridlock nucleons all facing the same direction. This is the wheel, uh, in, oriented like this, it weighs less, oriented like, like this, it weighs more. Note the spinning of the nucleons. This is a spaceship, um, a lightweight hull, hull from stripped isotopes. Uh, you can take iron, if you can strip it, then it doesn't react or respond to uh, gravity anymore. Um, this is propulsion. It can be semi-gridlocked or semi-stripped, as long as the rotating uh, baryons are in the same direction, you can use it to propulse of a, to steer a, a ship through space. And now, another one. These are uh, imaginary stripped isotopes. They lack the rotating quarks, hence they are uh, immune to gravity. And uh, this can be a steel beam, but yet floating on our atmosphere. These kind of crystals float on top of the North Pole and South Pole, because when they are here, they would uh, shoot off because of the cent hollow centrifugal force or centripetal force, whatever. So uh, isotopes that weigh less than uh, helium or, or hydrogen can be found here and here. Thank you.